This morning on today's climate, Dylan is still flying high after her big trip, not to London, but before right, that, before to that Hawaii, before. getting a rare glimpse at some of the longest living seabirds on the planet. Yeah, this was such a treat, especially since Hawaii was my 50th oh, state that's right. to yeah. visited. So I checked off a lot of boxes here, but thank you to our sponsor, Netflix, and their series, Our Planet 2. I got to travel to a very remote but protected habitat on the island of Oahu to learn about the Laysan albatross, and it's an incredible bird with a wingspan of up to 11 feet. Wow. And I also found out about their unique parenting skills. We've traveled to the Hawaiian island of Oahu, part of the most remote group of islands in the world, with Toby Nolan, zoologist, producer, and director of the Netflix series Our Planet 2. So where exactly are we headed? It is the last place on the island of Oahu where the Laysan albatross still breeds. This area of the island has been a natural reserve since 1983, protected by a barrier fence. Exactly. What makes this area so ideal for the albatross to nest here? These are the biggest wings on the planet, and in order to fly, they're completely reliant on wind. So they breed on the windiest spots on every island. Toby knows his feathered friends well. He spent six weeks filming and living at another Hawaiian albatross colony, the Papa Hanau Mokuakea Marine National Monument. Yeah, just keep an eye out. They kind of, they kind of poke out above the horizon. Oh my God, I see one. Oh, there it is. Oh, they're huge. And that's a baby? That's a baby. Holy cow. He's just chilling there. At this age, they're as big as the parents. It looks this, like he's wearing a wig. It does, right? At this time of year, chicks are sitting in exactly the same place where they were hatched, in rain, wind, and sun. But how old is this one? It's a bit younger than the ones we've just seen mm -hmm. because you've got this dense chocolate yeah. down covering it. Because it's a younger chick, mm -hmm. it's going to be being fed by its parents still. Albatross mate for life and for the first six months, lovingly care and feed their one and only chick until they don't. So is this poor guy here, is yeah. he hungry at this point? This guy's starving. Like, really? he hasn't eaten in two weeks probably. Oh my goodness. He was abandoned and the only ticket he has to eat hmm. is to head out there to the sea. It's tough love, but the chicks will take off and spend up to four years at sea, coming back to land as adults ready to mate. He's got a lifetime as a long, lonely traveler. Yeah. But then they have this incredible relationship with each other when they do find a mate. Marigold Zoll is the forestry and wildlife manager here on the island. Was there ever a point where there were absolutely no birds? When it was first designated as a natural area reserve, there were zero nesting seabirds here. Mm. And now there's about 3,000 pairs of shearwaters, and there's about regularly 60 pairs of nesting albatross here. It is a really sacred place for Hawaiians, too. Despite all the measures to protect the birds, Toby found the things we all use in everyday life are, in fact, their greatest predator. Plastic is such a danger for these, these birds. There is plastic washing up there from three different continents from across the Pacific Ocean. Floating plastic in the ocean looks a lot like the food albatross scoop up near the surface. Birds don't know they're unwittingly poisoning their own, their own young. Scientists estimate almost every albatross eats plastic, which can cause dehydration and blockages that lead to death. While filming the series, Toby and his team also found a much more fearsome predator, tiger sharks who prey on the fledgling chicks. On Oahu, all the albatross will soon leave until next year. You can tell they're just kind of itching to go. This one yeah. on the hill's just stretching his wings up here. In their long lifetime, the albatross will travel millions of miles, seeing more of the ocean than almost any other animal on the planet. Why is it so important to tell people about these animals that they may never come in contact with? As we continue to change our planet in huge ways, there's never been a more important time to tell the, a story of the importance of the freedom to move. Mm. The freedom to move. Mm. These birds wow. were incredible. As far as we know, the longest living albatross is more than 70 years old. Wow. Um, and of course, we want to keep these birds around. So experts say that you can do your part by reducing your plastic use, recycle where you can, yeah. don't let your trash end up in, in the oceans. Because, you know, oftentimes we, we show 
animal shows like this mm -hmm. and we don't talk about the human interaction right. mm. but that is direct human interaction with with the trash we put out that there. was that shot was just stunning crazy the beach, you know, as far as the eye could see yeah it's, it's scary. scary really and these yeah. and these birds are surviving they they've been around since the dinosaurs this wow. is the, like the wow. longest living species of birds mm. what a cool yeah. assignment that was that was great. Awesome. Yeah. yeah so thank, thank you. you for that <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.